Hey guys, it's Tungle Croc. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got the heart piece at the waterfall, and we beat the... God, what their name... What, what their names are? What their names are? I can't remember the beavers' names, but we beat the beavers anyway. And uh, got the heart piece and the bottle there. So anyway, in this episode, we're going to go into the Great Bay Skullchall House. What we'll need here is arrows and bombs. So don't forget that if you're following along or looking this up as a guide. So first what we do is we bomb this and head down this ramp. As we'll see there's some uh, sculptulas there. But you... What? I'm just holding the... Hookshot. So we're just gonna hookshot these guys. Pretty simple. So that's our first two. We're gonna jump in here. We don't need the bombs anymore, at least for a bit. So we're gonna take out our fire arrows. And set these cobweb aflame. So just hookshot that. The hookshot's gonna be used for pretty much every single, um... Every single sculpture in this, except for maybe a few. So we're just gonna hookshot over here. Open the door. All right, so, we're gonna ignore this door over here for now. Look up on the ceiling. Uh, right over here on this mask, but also in the rafter. I wonder if I can hit it from here. Yeah, I can. Can I get it from here? Oh yeah, I can, boss. We're also gonna look over here on the left. Oh God. Oh geez. There we go. Now, the next Skull Chula, okay, is down here, in this jar, so just roll into it and you'll get it, easy p as pie. I believe there's one in this one as well, let me just check, I can hear it, what? There we go, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so... I think we got everything up here. Let me just double check to make sure. Yes. So we go down here. We look up in the sky. Uh, stand on the stairs makes it a bit easier. There's one up here in this, like, crevice sort of thing. Okay. There's also a skull chili right here in this jar. Then up here in this jar. Ha, <laughs> two in a row. Two that. One over here in this wall. You have to set a fire to the cobweb, which we're gonna have to do a lot actually. And now, there's also one up in this mask. Okay, I think we're done down here. So we're gonna go back upstairs, just following along the simple guide here that I wrote down. It's a lot easier to go upstairs because this room doesn't lead anywhere else. Blah blah blah, you know? No one thinks it's exhausted. So this room can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so first, there's a Skulltula up in the rafters, but I think I'll leave that until I get on top of the, uh, top of the bookcases. So we're gonna pull out these bookcases here, Dra dresser, drawers, whatever, like so. Look inside it and there's gonna be a Skulltula in here. Okay, and then over here on the other side, this bookcase can be moved. Oops, that's not the button I want to press. Friggin' Link is strong. He is one crazy. So here's two of the five sculptures that we don't need the hookshot for. We're gonna see there's a stall child over here. We're gonna talk to him. We have to write down something that he says. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. 
As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems that yellow should be six, so write that down. If you're following along, it's gonna be different for you, so write it down. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will be finished. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing that the... The, uh, whatcha, whatcha, who's it's of, uh... Uh, what's that place called? The Connor Graveyard, say. There's another stall child here, so we'll speak to him. Speak! Huh? Okay, so yeah, he says the same thing. Yellow should be shot first, so remember to write this down. So we're gonna hit that, uh, sculpture up here in the rafters, I guess? I don't know what they're called. Okay, there's another one over here. If we blow that, uh, or hit that picture, I guess we, we don't have to hit it with a fire arrow. It just makes sense to me because it's a painting. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I have to go back up on the bookshelf. Don't jump off. Okay, there is a one over here as well. Ooh. There are two, actually. So I'll just stand here. Pretty simple to get over here. You can just run over and hit it if you want, but there's also one over in this painting that we can't get unless we're on that bookshelf over there, so... Okay. So that's all for this room. Let's leave. Go back down the stairs. And uh, we're gonna enter the door in the corner. Not the one near the stairs. Whoops. Lost my direction there. We're not gonna enter this one because that's the last room. We'll do that last because it has something in it that's pretty important. So, in this... In this room, shoot the Sculptula. In the... whatever, the ceiling. He'll, he'll, he dropped the black bow as well. So, hit that crate. Something tells me that there's something in there? No. There is one in here, though. Right behind the canoe. There's also one up in the ceiling. Okay. I just have to make sure that those are the only ones. This one, this room was kind of confusing for me. Okay, there's a brown crate. Ah, yes. So there's a brown crate here, you can smash into it, get some items, but also there's a sculpture right behind the entrance. And now, we jump up on this crate. Look up, and we'll notice there's a hookshot target up here. So, hit all these crates, you get some hearts. But also in this third one, there is a Sculptula. So that's all for this room. We're gonna head into the last room. Right over here. Make sure you have the... Skull mask, the captain's hat on, because there's four more guys in here. Remember to write down what these guys say. Green second. Okay. Wish they wouldn't say so much. Green fourth. Blue third. I'm gonna just take a stab at a like take a guess here. It's gonna be red, red fifth. <laughs> Blue fifth. Dang it. 
I should have known. I was gonna guess that anyway. Alright, so. Now that we got all the six, whatever, stall children. Let's, uh, take out our normal arrows. We don't want to waste any magic power. So for me, it's yellow first, green second, blue third, green fourth, blue fifth, and yellow sixth. So yeah, we'll open up that. We'll go up there and, uh, get a treasure. Right there. So yeah, this is, this is why we got the the captain's hat before is because it's very important to get a piece of heart if we don't want to have to backtrack or anything in the later episodes. Spoiled it, it's a piece of heart. <laughs> okay. So now we can get the last six Skulltulas in this room. They're pretty- and they respawn, by the way. That's pretty weird. Just in case, like... I guess it's not weird, it's in case you don't write down something, so it's very f forgiving. Okay. That was right. There's one behind this painting. That was a complete guess. I knew it was behind one of the paintings, but I was following the sounds. Okay. So there's one more that I have to get in here. Let me just double check. There is one behind a jar. In a jar. Right there. Okay, so this... These last three are actually pretty cool. As you can hear, they're in this room. But the way we get them... ...is friggin' awesome. We stand on the table, put on the Goron's mask... ...and friggin' ground pound. They just fall down, all three of them. Okay. So... Oh, those guys fell. I didn't know I could kill him! Kill them. Let's kill this guys. These guys. Oh my god, that's crazy. Alright, so that's the last Skulltula. Didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is great. Okay, let's head up the stairs. Back out to the entrance and we'll get our reward. Which is awesome. It's a great reward, by the way. The way to get out, we have to- we do have to keep the Goron's Mask, because we have to roll up this. And there's a guy out here. I thought I heard some loud noises inside, and I came in to check it out. This place... is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. So he gives us the giant wallet, which allows us to hold up to 500 rupees. I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. So he's gonna use this underground shelter... ...to save himself from the moon. Which is smart, maybe, depending on if the moon will fall. I guess it won't fall underground, so... That's great. But anyway... We're gonna go to Zora. Zora Hall. And then, that's- it's gonna be the last of the episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... ...head over here. Might as well put on the bunny hood. We're gonna head back through the overhang. Like so. And then look over here. I mean... That's gotta be something, right? Oh, there's a like like! Oh, I forgot about that! <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head over here into this mysterious area. Which I think I already spoiled what it is. So, night of the first day, yeah. So we're gonna head into the... This is like... I don't know, it's like a shark or something? It's like... King Lord Jabu Jabu. But anyway, this is Zora Hall. This is where Mikau and all the other Zoras that they talk about live. But what we're gonna do right now is head all the way over here. I think this is the best music in the game, maybe. I may have said it before, but this is my favorite. I keep changing my favorite. 
Uh, down this hallway is a shop, and that leads up to the, like, balcony up there, to the right, and then to the left goes outside. So we're gonna talk to this Zora. Hey, Mikau. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. Evan, your band leader's looking for you. Okay. So this isn't Evan's room. That's, um... What is his name? I don't know his name, but he's not important to anything. I'm gonna take out the hook shot. Hook shot up here. As you can tell, he's the drummer of the band. Not important, though. Mikau, my diary. Today, Jappas and I had a jam session. He's not good with words, but he gr writes great riffs. Here's what I played. Today, I had Lulu listen to my session with Jappas. She seemed to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl, after all. Today, I had another jam session with Jappas. Evan was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. Here's what I played. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. So that's weird. His lucky color is green. And the boy who saved him was green. But anyway, we don't need to talk to him. I think he's Jappas. He shouldn't... He doesn't talk, right? Miguel, where have you been? Where have you been? I was worried. The concert in town is coming up, but it seems like all the band members are in a funk. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Especially Lulu. I haven't heard her voice in a long time. She's usually in good spirits, too. Oh, I wonder if this is all related to the ocean turning all weird. Actually, I know a little bit of Lulu's secret. Not really. I already know it. See ya. So yeah, we don't really need to talk to him. If you want to talk to him, you can. It's just... He doesn't really say anything important. So we're gonna head into this room. It's Jappa's room. You're gonna have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait. Yeah. So let's head over here. Let's talk to him. Mikau! Where have you been? I'm all like, hey, where's Mikau? The concert's coming up soon. And now our band leader has pulled, pulled a vanishing act. Evan's all holed up in his room just writing songs. And to top it off, Lulu just stands out back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. If you guys think it's just because Lulu's not interested in me, I'd understand, but I'm telling you. It looks like I'm... It looks like something's really wrong. Is there something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything. But look, if we don't start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to be ready for the concert. So what we're going to do is take out our guitar and play the songs that we just learned. Yeah, he, you need to be in a certain area. Huh, you wanna have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar. Oh. Whoa, that's nice. Oh. I got it, I got it, I got it, here we go. Everybody just rushing. They all love the band. That's great. That's got a good feel to it. Even Evan should like this, but he's so proud he'd resent the fact that we wrote something on our own. I don't think he'd even let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? All right, so that's where we gotta head next. We gotta go to Evan. And as uh, as you can tell from all, everything that's been said about him, Evan does not does not like it when others are better than him. Ah, Mikau, what have you been doing this whole time? Evan, the band leader, has been waiting for you a while now. Hurry, go in. Okay. So. Since we... Since he doesn't like us showing him songs, we're gonna actually go into human form and play the song. Huh? That song. Hmm, 
It works. It works. It works. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. You've got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our new show. Next show. Take this and thanks. So we got a heart piece from him stealing the song. Kind of a scummy guy, but anyway. You're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? Yes, you are. 100%. Okay. So yeah. This song right here is the credits to the original Le Legend of Zelda, by the way. Which is pretty cool. Um... What's his face? Uh, yeah, I have to go back here anyway. I'm gonna show you, show off what, uh, Jappus is playing. He's actually playing the dungeon theme from Legend of Zelda 1. So let's listen. So yeah, I think that's pretty friggin' awesome. But anyway, the last thing we have to do is head outside through that hall that I showed you before. Okay, sorry about that, I just had an interruption. But anyway, now we're outside. We'll see there's a woman Zora over here, which is Lulu, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Uh, we got a bunch of jars over here and an owl statue, so what we're gonna do is hit the owl statue. We'll have this whole area set up. I'm gonna reset time, deposit rupees, all that. So, in the next episode, we're actually gonna head over to that spot right over there. What looks like a dead fish. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and favorite button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My Patreon is in the description if you want to support me through that. Goodbye.